Hello everyone. Last time I was speaking about how I was um, currently in the uh, the process of putting together a, a new PC, and um, I'm here to update you on some um, updates that I've uh, that have come about on this or whatever. I've more or less from like the um, the list of uh, the parts that I ha that I um, was talking about last time. I've almost changed everything like. Your, your major stuff I've actually like changed out um, and I've ordered some stuff and I think I've um, I think I'm actually I'm good now I think I, I'm very confident on what I've chosen and uh, everyone that I've spoken to about what I've chosen seems to um, agree that what I've chosen is good um, I ordered um, what I order? I ordered um, this box. Got some stuff. Case fan here. Um, this is the Megaflow 200 blue LED 200 millimeter fan here. Um, I had no idea that this was gonna be so big. Like I guess, I guess like thinking about it now, 200 millimeters is pretty big. But I didn't realize it would be this big. I, I didn't know they made them this big. I honestly thought that something was up when, when I got this thing. Like that, it was a bit weird. So I got that. I got um. Here is a network adapter for um, your networking needs. I think um. And bubble wrap here is um, your optical drive for DVDs, and um, also in here uh, you can you can kind of see a little um, cardboard box there, but that's for um, I believe um, that's a 2.5 inch to 3.5 inch hard drive adapter for putting in. For, that'll be for putting an SSD into um, the hard drive slot, which I'm actually not sure if I really need because I actually believe the case that um, I've decided on, I believe that actually comes with 2.5 inch bays, but I didn't realize that at the time, so I got that for like no reason, I guess, but it was only like six dollars, so I suppose all's, all's well that ends well. Um, the changes that I've made. Okay, the first thing I'll, I guess I'll talk about is the case because I've go, I've gone back and forth on the case a lot, because um, I spoke to a fella, um, a young gentleman from my local PC store, and um, was was asking him, inquiring how much it would cost or whatever for him to put the thing together and all that, and he was like, talking about um, asking me how much um, it would. Or he was asking like some general questions and he asked like how big the case I was going to get was and I told him the full tower and at the time I didn't realize like I just went full tower because like why not because full I guess I just meant better in my eyes I didn't realize how massive it would be and um, he was recommending I get a mid tower instead because um, I, I only plan to put one graphics card in it and all that and um, he was talking about like um he was dropping some language that I didn't quite understand, like he was talking about ATX and uh, micro ATX and all that. I think he recommended something from Fractal. And I looked it up, and I, I, look, I was looking up some mid-tower cases, and most of them were on par, if not more expensive, than the price of the full tower that I've, that I've chosen. And the full tower that I've chosen is, has got some pretty universally good reviews, so I think I'm going to go with that. And the main thing that was putting me off of the full tower was when I really realized how big it would be. Like it would be like two foot high, um, like two foot long. Like I, I didn't really know if it was going to fit under my desk or whatever, but I've done measurements and I believe that, that it should fit just well. Um, and I believe it should come with a bunch of fans as well. So I'm not sure. I believe that the fan that I've gotten there, I believe that w should be able to like make a... Um, I should be able to put that in there still, 
like I believe that there's more than one 200 millimeter slot or whatever. But I think I've, I've decided on the full tower. Cause he, he was talking about um, like oh a mid tower bit would be easier for land parties, which I'm not going to be taking. Like once my PC gets under my desk, it is not going anywhere. Like for for the conceivable future. Um, like my only fear really was that it being so big and heavy, like someone along the course of time or whatever, like a mailman or whatever would just like drop it or something. What I guess that I guess I would I would just get a replacement then, but oh well. Um so I've decided on the full tower, and that's the um N N Z X T the Phantom that I just, that I was mentioned before. But um everything else I've actually pretty much changed out. Um Mainly from, I've gone from um, AMD to NVIDIA for the processor, and I've actually bumped up the graphics card a bit, and um, I think I've just made some basic changes. Well, I, I, I said AMD to NVIDIA, I meant AMD to uh, Intel. Um, Intel Core i7-3770 3.4 GHz Quad Core. Which I mentioned before, I was talking about how um, I didn't understand why people were comparing Intel quad cores to AMD eight cores or whatever, and um, I've learned that that is because probably Intel um, processors, some of them have what is called hyperthreading, which I'm not quite sure what it is, but it has to do with um, apparently making like a virtual core or something on the on the processor to make it run better. Or something like that. Um, I believe uh, I've changed the motherboard to an AS Rock Z77 Extreme 4 ATX LGA 1155 motherboard. Um, I changed the RAM um, at some people's uh, suggestion. I think I had um, I had 16 gigs selected before, but people um, people were saying that was sort of overkill. So I bumped it down to 8, which apparently should be just fine. Uh, but, uh, that's a G Skill Rip Jaws X Series 8GB um, DDR3 1600. Um, SSD, I think um, before I had, um, I think I had like a 32 gig SSD selected. And now I've, I've bumped that up to um, 120 gig SSD. That's Kingston SSD now. V300 series. So I bumped that up to that. Um, and the graphics card I bumped up to, I think before I had um, a 660 Ti selected or something like that. And um, I've changed it. I think, I think I actually might have already had it at this, but um, I changed that to a GeForce GTX 760. If I did change that at all, but that is what that is. Now, if it if it's already been there, then it has or whatever. Um, and so that's more or less the changes that I made. And I think I'm sort of confident with that. I think that that would do fairly decently. And um, even though I guess I wouldn't be making the full use of the full tower, like even though I do only have like one graphics card, like it's plenty of room for um, improvement and upgrades and stuff like that. Who like, says I might not put another graphics card? And there another point, and also, I believe a full tower would have um, like better air circulation, and just that that would be a plus for me. And um, yeah, so I think I'm gonna try to shoot for. Um, I imagine like a lot of this stuff will be on sale around Black Friday ish, and um, that's probably when I'll, when I'll be ordering a lot of it. Because it's it's a it'll be a fairly expensive investment, and so if I could get it for as cheap as possible, obviously it'd be pretty cool. But I would say that would be pretty good. Like just in general, um, I feel because I'm always having um like I'm always like very like I think I mentioned this before, but like. 
I'm always very um, paranoid with hard drive space. I'd be able to have like all my games installed. I'd be able like only with Solidus on thousand. I'd be able to um, basically just pump out videos. I would say pretty regularly because I'd be rendering like super fast and all that. Um, I'd be able to LP games that I, I may not have been able to do before because of uh, the way games made my run. Uh, and I'd be able to play a lot more games. So, some good stuff looms on the horizon, I would say. But I'm, I'm fairly confident with that, and I um, hope to be enjoying it quite soon. So, I guess tell me what you, what you all think of these recent um, changes. I felt accomplished saying um, to get Windows 8, which I guess I um, I know that the reaction to Windows 8 has been quite mixed. Uh, I, I know that it's mainly sort of tuned for people that have got um, touch screens, which I do not have, so I would think that it would be not in my best interest. And plus, I guess, I like, oh, and I also I changed the uh, the power supply. Um, I, like, I think I had like a 600 watt or something of like that. I changed it to 800 watts. Actually, I think I might've had it at 800 watts, but then I changed it down, but then I changed it back up again or something like that. But it, now it's a, it's a Kohler Master Silent Pearl Gold, 800 watt, 80 plus gold, certified semi-modular ATX power supply. What was I just saying? Um, I like most people, I guess. I'm not the biggest fan of change and all that. And I guess Windows 7, like, like it, it still is noticeably Windows, whereas Windows 8 is kind of like, what? And so I think I'll just stick with 7. Or I guess I'll move on to 7 because I've got Vista now. That's that. Hopefully that um intrigues you and all that. And um yeah, see you guys another time.